Joe Rogan, we all know Joe Rogan came down with the good old, oh, not good, but the vid a couple of, I think it was last week, right? He came down with it last week, and he put out a video. He's like, hey, guys, this is your boy Joe Rogan. He didn't say it's your boy, but he's like, hey, guys, it's Joe Rogan. I got COVID, but, you know, as soon as I got it, I threw the whole kitchen He's like, moxachloroquine, da ba da it is, ivermectin, B12 shots, vitamin C drips, the, the whole thing, the whole rich guy, COVID survival pack, Joe Rogan took it all. So he was on his podcast yesterday, I believe, with Tom Segura. And Joe Rogan, who recently revealed his COVID diagnosis, as well as a controversial treatment regime that included ivermectin, took to the most recent episode of his podcast to talk about his illness, as well as questioned media coverage of his recovery. On the uh, September 7th episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, the host was teased by his guest, Tom Segura, who referred to him as Horseworm Rogan, a reference to the fact that versions of ivermectin are used to deworm livestock. Bro, Dr. Susie and then he said, they're making shit up. They keep saying I'm taking horse dewormer. I'm literally got it from a doctor. It's an American company. They won the Nobel Prize in 2015 for use in human beings. And CNN is saying I'm taking horse dewormer. They must know that that's a lie. CNN was saying I'm a distributor of misinformation. While, if, and I haven't seen, I haven't watched the CNN video, so I cannot confirm or deny they were actually saying Joe Rogan is taking horse dewormer. But... If they were doing that, then they are knowingly lying to the people. And why are you pushing so hard for people not to know about this? Now, we don't even know if it cured him or not. We just know he's better, right? We don't know what he took to cure him. We don't know if it was the millions. He said, I took a lot of vitamin C. I took the ivermectin, the monoclonal Maybe he's just a healthy guy. Maybe he just passed through the system. Maybe he didn't even have to do all that. Maybe he would have came, you know, came out of it okay regardless. But... For a major news network, and he even brought up the thing. He said, if it's on Twitter, you can't really control Twitter. Twitter's going to do what Twitter's going to do. Now, will a lot of people believe shit they see on Twitter? Yes, because whenever you got a blue verified checkmark person who you don't know what they do, they write articles for X, Y, and Z, or maybe they maybe they do YouTube like me, or maybe they just wrote a book about whatever, and they got a blue checkmark. Whenever people see them make statements, and then those statements begin to be valid, uh, validated by people on Twitter with retweets and likes, People will take that as gospel and people will start to believe that that is the truth to what's going on in this situation. Because I say it a million times. If you have that blue check, you are validated in your opinion. You need the validation from the retweets and you need the validation from that check mark. And a lot of people on social media will just go to you and be like, okay, they said it. They got a blue check mark. It must be right without any research. So when a, C- a co- corporation like CNN, regardless of all the controversy, people hate CNN, they love CNN fake news, this, this, that, when a major platform continues to say that you are taking something that you are not, especially this thing I don't get. He said he got it from the doctor. Now you could be like, oh, well, he got a loony doctor. I don't know. But when the doctor prescribes it for you, who am I to say that, you know, I'm not going to take it? Now, people probably use that same argument. Well, doctors say take the vaccine. Why you don't take the vaccine? Well, because that's his right if he wants to take it or not. He could look at ivermectin and do some research. I don't know if he did research on it, but he could see that, like he said, it won a Nobel Peace Prize for human doses. And I'm like, all right. He might not trust the COVID vaccine. He might not trust vaccines in general. That's just his thing. And the vaccine shit has become so divisive that it's just the new Trump, right? The vaccines are the new Trump. Because best believe this, people. If Donald Trump was the president of the United States, still to this day, and there's been videos and clips of people on the other the Democratic side saying, talking shit about the vaccine that we currently have, because the vaccine was made when Trump was president. It wasn't made after when Joe Biden, it wasn't made after. It was made before Joe Biden got in office. We know that they would be saying the same shit. We know it. Just like with the Taliban shit. Trump was going to pull out anyway. I don't know how he was going to pull out, but it was already in motion. But since it's this side versus that side, we was going to do the same thing you was going to do, but now you're in power and you're doing it, so we're going to shit on it. But if we was in power, we'd praise it. You just got to know the politic media game, that that's how they run shit. Just like when, regardless of what you think of the border, right? You think the border's fucked up. You think that Biden is allowing a million people in. But when I just see people running down to the border that I've never seen go to the border whenever they saw I was in power, but now they run down to the border to try to look at the kids, and shit just look hypocritical. All the way, everybody, they all, not, it's not targeted once. All these motherfuckers hypocritical. Because if there was 
like I said, I feel like, and I cannot confirm because we don't live in alternate realities, but if Trump had won and there was a big left-wing figure that was against getting the vaccine, I don't even know if he's against it, he just hasn't got it. I'm not saying he's like anti-vax. No, COVID is not real. Not those type people. But if there was a person on the left while Trump was president still that went and got COVID and then started saying they took ivermectin, they would probably be like, hey, maybe ivermectin works over Trump's theorem just to take. They would do it. I don't give a fuck. They would do it. The media is bullshit. All of them are bullshit. All of them lie. All of them pan to their sides because they just want to get money. They want to start fear, controversy, because you know what brings more dollars? Controversy, divisive shit. And negative. That's all. That's that's how you get the money. In the media game. That's how you get the money. Can't we get on and talk about positive shit all day? Cause they ain't gonna fuck with it. Everybody can act like we want positivity in the world. We want th-. no. You don't. You don't. You don't. Because the positive shit ain't as interesting. If I go on here every day talking about positive shit. Oh my God. Um. Obama donated a million dollars to the kids of Haiti. And oh, Jack Boy and little baby are creating a hospital. Niggas won't give a fuck. It'd probably get views, but people ain't gonna give a fuck about that. That's just the dirty world and dirty game that we work in, and media knows that. So, and to make Joe Rogan, especially a person like Joe Rogan, because Joe Rogan is seen as the uncontrollable big monster in the room. He's not tied to any network. He's not tied to anything. He started the Joe Rogan experience from, I mean, he's, okay, he's tied to Spotify, but he's still his own beast and monster because without Spotify, Joe Rogan would still be Joe Rogan. Spotify didn't make Joe Rogan bigger than he already is. Spotify, I mean, Joe Rogan brought market value to Spotify. It's it's a completely different power dynamic in my opinion. But my point is, you see every time Joe Rogan says anything, the mainstream media is quick to leap and jump on it. Why is that? Because Joe Rogan cannot be really controlled with his opinion. Now, if he's wrong, he'll get on there and apologize. But as far as being able to be controlled, they don't like that. They fear that because he built his platform from the ground up. He's able to speak to his audience, which is tens of millions of people. I think they said tens of millions per episode, tens of millions per week, whatever it is. And they can't control that. The only way they control that is by trying to censor him. So whenever you get these situations, he's spreading this information. He's doing this. It's a push to, in the future, I think, to try to deplatform someone like him. Try to steer him in the lane of an Alex Jones. Look at how Alex Jones got wiped off the face of the internet in a day. Instagram, Facebook, this, that, this, that. I never, you see, I never seen nobody get pulled up. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, your payment information. Now, I don't, I'm not saying Alex Jones tells the truth. He might say some wild shit. But I think everybody says, I think all the motherfuckers say some wild shit. But regardless of what you believe, it's a dangerous and slippery slope that they're going down. Let me finish reading this article. So, Rogan's uh, treatment, according to a video he posted on September, included monoxiclonal antibodies, ivermectin, z pack prednisone, everything. I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip, and I did that three days in a row. The Ray's uh, point uh, coverage from CNN included a Don Lemon Tonight segment with Dr. Jonathan Rayner, who said he's promoting kind of a scary jumble of, you know, sort of folk remedies and internet prescribed drugs. It's, again, dangerous now. He should have more sense after encountering the disease. And, again, I hope he does well and gets well quickly. He's not helping matters when he promotes this sort of nonsense therapeutic mix. But that's my thing. If I am getting... Like, y'all say believe doctors, but which doctors are we supposed to believe? I'm getting a little too deep into this controversy shit, but I'm just asking the question. If he says, I got these things from my doctor, and he's rich, so I'm sure he might, probably is a good doctor, what is he doing that's bad? Because if I go to the doctor, I'm probably not going to be able to get ivermectin, z pack, monoclonal, anybody, all this shit. I ain't going to be able to get all this shit. But Joe Rogan is a rich guy, and rich people have access to rich people's shit, so he could take that. So I don't know. I, I don't. I don't get the. He's pushing the bad thing now. If you go, let me say this: If you go out there and you are taking the horse pill or the horse dewormer instead of the actual prescribed ivermectin doses from a doctor, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You might as well just go get the damn vaccine if you're gonna take some horse dewormer. Because the uh, the com the, 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 the two different things. If you get the, if you're going to track supply and buying the dewormer. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Point blank. You're an idiot. I can't. I can't believe there's people actually overdosing from the horse dewormer because 
they're not smart enough to know that it, there, there's another thing. Now you can say, well, they're they're listening. That's because they're listening to their idols. They're listening. Um, these people aren't the people that are saying them. I'm saying they're they're listening to the Ben Shapiro's of the world. They're listening to the, the, the bro. If someone tell, I'm a grown ass adult. If I'm listening to Joe Rogan, he says, I took ivermectin to get to heal from COVID. If I was like, whoa, shit, I think I got COVID. I'm gonna take ivermectin. I'm gonna look it up on the internet first and see if there's two different doses. I'm not gonna go ivermectin horse okay he said he took a horse thing i really love joe rogan so uh, well he said he took it so no i don't operate my life and if you operate your life like that you got to grow up you can't have these people being role models that's the way you operate in your life you need to find real life role models in your life who can guide you and direct you down the path if you don't have anybody like that who's trying to steer you then i'm sorry uh you're a lost soul but anyways uh, the, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration currently runs ha, uh, runs what currently runs has a page. Why is this Yahoo News? Why can't you, am, I, am I reading this shit wrong? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration currently runs has a page on their website titled "Why You Should Not Use Ivermectin to Treat or Prevent COVID-19." According to their language on the site, there seems to be a growing interest in a drug called ivermectin for the prevention of COVID-19 in humans. Certain animal formulations of ivermectin, such as poron, injectable paste, and drench, are approved in the U.S. to treat or prevent parasites in animals. For humans, ivermectin tablets are approved at very specific doses to treat some parasitic worms, and there are topical on-skin formulations for head lice, skin conditions like rosaki, ro- whatever the fuck, rosaki. So like I said, my thing is this. Now, if Joe Rogan just went and took all these, these combinations of drugs on his own without a doctor telling him, they would be like, well, Joe, what are you doing on that for, right? Well, he actually, hey, doc, I'm sick. All right, Joe, I've been seeing you for the past 10 years. I'm going to prescribe you ivermectin, monoclonal, whatever the fuck, this and that. Then I feel like there shouldn't even be a conversation about it. Now, even if he, even, I, it shouldn't be a conversation. I don't, I don't even go too deep into it, but there shouldn't be a conversation about it, especially when it's your doctor that's prescribing these things and these drugs, too. And I, 